Last week, we lost a giant in Scottish rugby. I guess we all knew it, but we, when he actually died and we lost him, it didn't stop from being desperately, desperately sad. And six days later, it still remains pretty raw. Doddy was a titan on the pitch. 61 caps for Scotland, titles with Melrose and Newcastle and a tour with the British and Irish Lions. He loved life, he loved people, and he was quite fond of being the centre of attention too. And when he was diagnosed with MND, he used those traits positively and for good. And with a positivity that came from God knows where, he wanted to make the world a better place. He was an extraordinary man. Six foot seven of unbridled joy with an ability to make you feel great in his company. He was joyous, he was lovely, he was nice, he had a glint in his eye. He was a wonderful, wonderful man and a fine, fine friend to have. Jim Hamilton and Donkey Weir are standing alongside me and, and it just, and Don, Dory's not the sort of guy we'd want us to be maudlin and sad necessarily, but to Jim, I mean, it's still, Six days later, pretty tough. Uh, we, we knew he was going to go, but uh, the fact he's no longer with us is still pretty rough, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Heartbroken still and shocked, if I'm honest. It was one of them things with the disease that Doddy carried in MND. The inevitability was around the corner, but you always hoped, you always hoped that it would never have got to what it got to. And I just think it is raw, you know, not just for us, I imagine more so for his family and his closest friends. And, you know, soon we'll remember Doddy for yes. the man that stood tall, the man that fought the disease, the man that smiled, the man that never wavered, he never complained, he spoke positively all the time. You know, the, the word legend, the word hero is thrown around a lot, a lot in sport, a lot in the world, but Doddy Weir was a legend, yeah. a hero to many. And I think for me personally, whenever I walked in the room, not just me, everyone, everyone. smiled. When yeah. Doddy Weir was there, when he was in your presence, you smiled. And uh, it goes without saying, he's going to be sorely missed. You know, and his legacy will continue, and it will continue on hard. And many people will make sure that that happens. But, yeah, heartbroken, shocked, and absolutely honoured to have known the man. And also, uh, you know, Dunkey, it, it's extraordinary. I was mentioning his positivity there. You know, when he got the diagnosis, he just wanted to make the world a better place. You know, that's the kind of guy he, you know, it wasn't about him. It was about making it better for the people that were going to come after him. Yeah, I think he's, um, like you say, when you when you get, you're braced with his company, it was his uh, presence in a room. It was uh, the way that his sense of humour brightened up everyone else's day. Uh, even when he got diagnosed, he... He's seen the funny side of things. He, when when things were starting to to slow down and, and not work, he he found the comedy in that, yeah. uh, and that is such a rare trait in someone that's going through something so um, physically uh, personal. Uh, and you, you can't hide away from the fact that your limbs are starting to 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 stop work. But he would find the sense of humour in that, and for me, that just shows the the character of the of the man. That uh, even in a in a tough circumstance, uh, he just brought the the bright side of life out and yeah, uh, yeah his legacy will go on and, and yeah uh, it was amazing seeing how many tributes are, are yeah. th throughout the, the rugby community and as a player Jim as well I mean amazing he, he obviously started as an amateur went into the professional era he would rather lift a pint than a barbell but he was one of those guys that when it comes to when the you know in the trenches you'd want a guy like that beside you wouldn't you well that's what everyone says my memory of Doddy Weir and naturally for a lot of people my age I mean I'm only just 40 but was the Lions tour in 97 and, and the fact that we got to see the documentary and the characters come out and Doddy Weir was central to that. But like Dougie said, you, you read the tributes and you listen to what people say, his teammates, former coaches, uh, even before his diagnosis, but more so that we're hearing stuff now of what a fantastic player he was. And uh, like I'm sure over the coming weeks, the days, the months, the years, there'll be the things that we talk about, but it's everything. Doddy Weir was everything that was good about rugby. He embodied the game of rugby union that we all fell in love with and uh, fantastic player, fantastic character. And uh, yeah, it's still lost for words. It's, it's quite difficult, isn't it, to put yes. into words. You know, when, you, when you read the stuff, you can digest it, but me stood here talking, us stood here talking, doesn't do the man just as, as a player, but also the legacy that he leaves around the MND profile that's been raised. and. He bared the weight of that, you know, the profile, and Rod Burrow's done exactly the same, so Kev Sinfield as well has raised the, prof uh, raised the profile, and it's, it's a deadly and it's a horrible disease, but like Dunkey said, 
Dolly carried that. He stood tall with it, and he's raised the profile to hopefully, which will benefit people that are suffering from the disease and make their lives more comfortable and hopefully in the future that there's a cure. 